sit there and listen to George's side of things bore yourself to death. Most. Cochon. Bits. Canine. Yeah. I'm Milo and I play Nick. <laughs> yes, that's right. Uh, I'm Shamali and I play Mark. That's okay. You can stand I it. cannot stand it. You can stand it. You married me for it. I'm Joe and I play George. I smoke almost immediately. Puff. <laughs> I'm Annabelle and I play You're Honey. wonderful. Honey. <laughs> it's kind of like incredibly like on the nose and kind of sort of naturalistic. It's, it's, it's a really good bit of writing. Mm. Which is interesting because they're not necessarily really naturalistic sort of characters. <laughs> yeah. They're all a little bit bizarre, but because we've got all this like really realistic dialogue going on, that's been especially like. Cool it's been really genius. great in rehearsals to kind of just let the scene run, yeah. Um, and yeah, the chance to like play off each other and not, yeah, not have to choreograph it so much. Just kind of see what happens. Yeah, the tone, the tone shifts are like unbelievable in terms of going from like laughing to like. Horror and fashion. <laughs> yeah. Stop that! 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 Stop a bajillion hours every day. Mm. And if you do that eventually, like you will just go mad. So it's quite nice to have have something to do that's like fun and not memorizing uh, medieval quotes. <laughs> Everyone's very much, I find, has their individual timetables here, which mm. um, you know you can very much make it tailored to what you want to do mm -hmm. and your passion. Mm. You you get to balance that with your academic studies mm. as well, which is which is great. Yeah, it's nice. Nobody's coming in here like talking about work. We're just kind of getting down to it. Really happened to me. I'll kill you. Almost quite appropriate, really. <laughs> like, and like have all of our breakdowns. It's very therapeutic. <laughs> bravo, bravo. Thank you. Here we are, a little shaky, but on our feet. Coming here for the theatre, that that was what I wanted, really. Like that was the main attraction, I think, for me. I hope none of my supervisors are watching this. <laughs> <laughs> I love my course. Um, but I really wanted like a bigger, because I came from quite a small sort of town where they did have theatre and everything, but it wasn't like, especially student theatre, there wasn't a huge network for it. And you know, I was very much performing with my school in sort of like a black box with like a couple of black boxes and dust sheets, which was great, which is fun. But coming here and just, you know, seeing all the different roles available for people as well like it's not teachers directing us or anything it's it's students it's friends like there's so much scope there's so much, there's such a broad nature of like work to be getting involved in that you you can always be doing something essentially mm -hmm. and like Annabelle said like role wise there's huge scope as well so it's all students like producing directing acting sets on mm. which is great if you want to try new stuff as well like i'd love to try things like you know like directing you can do things like associate directing um, so it's, it's a great environment in order to like develop other roles that you might not have thought about in the past, which is totally, yeah. yeah. I mean, I grew up in Hong Kong, um, so it was culturally like on the surface, I think, very different. When I came here, I didn't realize that the theater scene was so vibrant and there was so much going on. Um, so it was kind of a journey of coming, being surprised by this whole um, like ecosystem and then being like ah I don't know how I can contribute to it because my experience is so different yeah it can look quite exclusive but I think yeah. I think it's I, I literally if you throw yourself in like mm -hmm. things happen yeah. and it does develop it was a mistake honey please honey look at me please I'm sorry I didn't mean to it was a mistake please honey please